Hi everybody, it's Amalia. And I'm here with the introduction for the House Mouse collab for 2019 with Crafty Bean. 2018 was the um, House Mouse collaboration with Gracie21. Uh, Gracie's not able to do it this year, so she asked Crafty Bean Tina Coppa from um, Crafty Bean YouTube channel to run the House Mouse collab this year. And um, it's going to be slightly different this year in that um, there's not going to be any themes for the month. So um, 2019, the Videos are going to be uploaded the third Saturday of every month by uh, noon Pacific time or 3 p.m. Eastern time. And um, yeah, so it's going to run pretty much the same as 2018, except under um, Tina's guidance, uh, Crafty Bean on YouTube and the third Saturday of every month again and uh, no theme so you can do any type of project or use any house mouse stamp uh, that you want and I have uh, a number of stamps uh, that I wasn't able to use during the um, themed one for 2018 but I had a lot of fun using them for uh, the cards that I made in 2018 and I'd like to do a review of the cards that I made in 2018 uh, now and show you uh, this one this is the theme this was the first one for the month of January I made a shaker card and you can see all the snowflakes and stuff and um, the mouse <laughs> if you can see it is uh, it's a um, it's a snow globe and the mouse, house mouse is in the background and uh, he's sort of like got his hands up against the snow globe and he's peering in at the village and all the snow in the snow globe uh, from the back side. Um, so yeah, that's the first one that I did for 2018. That was called Winter Fun. This is the second one for February, which was hearts was the theme. Um, this was a beautiful stamp, and um, I didn't know how to color it quite, but I managed to um, to do it and to get through, and uh, I did like the way it came out. Uh, this one was for March, and the theme was April showers and umbrellas, and we have this cute little kitty cat laying in some leaves, that uh, some flowers that had fallen from the trees and her little house mouse buddies right there this was pretty simple kind of card this is April which was April showers slash umbrellas and um, I have a YouTube um, what's it called I don't know what it's called it's gonna to come to me in a minute so I'm just gonna keep talking okay so so this card was done for April and uh, I took this technique of how to do raindrops from Sandy Alnock you'll check out uh, the video uh, from April and you can see me talking about that and how I took the idea from Sandy Alnock and uh, it's a playlist. I have a YouTube playlist. You can either go through my channel and search for the videos for the House Mouse collab or look for the playlist that I have for the 2018 collab and it shows all the videos that I did each month for each project. And the playlist um, is easy to, to find on my channel. Uh, but I kept asking people, what did you think that was missing from this picture? And nobody seemed to get it. Um, or what was missing from the card, or what was mi something's missing from this, and uh, no one seemed to get it. I'm gonna come to the end uh, for this again on the video and see if you notice something that's there in almost every other image except for this one. 
let's see, I'll leave it here so you can kind of see it in the background. And this is the one for May, mothers and or grandmothers. And I did this card right here. Again, if you want to see, uh, there's a little bit more explanation to each one. Uh, you can look at the, each video uh, for each month in the playlist. This one was fathers and or grandfathers for um, June. This one was happy birthday. I wasn't um, wasn't happy with the way this one came out, but it's all right. Also a shaker card, two little mice under a hat. I watercolored this one, stamped this upside down. That's mainly the reason I wasn't happy with it, <laughs> but I wasn't gonna start over. So, and here's, a, here's the one for, this is, sorry, this is July birthdays. This is August and it was blueberries in parentheses, summer fruits like watermelon. So I didn't have anything that re really was appropriate for that. So I used this one, which is strawberries, which is really kind of a spring fruit. And, uh, but although you can get it year round now. And uh, yeah, I did this one in watercolor as well. And I've been waiting forever to use this cute, adorable little ribbon right there. This one here was for the month of September. The theme was school and I chose band and um, I used watercolor paper with some resist on it from Recollections. Some beautiful gold uh, background paper and I just colored the mice in. Uh, I'm not that skilled at coloring to would it, to have been able to f do the pianos but I think it came out great and not too much uh, by just doing the the mice. This one was for um, fall foliage and um, this one right here, this is also watercolor paper and he had a little like um, daisy or something um, in his mouth and I just cut it out and added these little flowers right here. And then this one is for Thanksgiving. And when I did the video, I didn't have this sentiment here. So, and I finally added the sentiment because I found, I didn't find the one I wanted to use, but I found one that I thought was really good with the image. So I used that one. Yep, and then this is the last one I did for December, which is Christmas, which is really almost one of my favorite images. So yeah, those are my cards for 2018. I'm really looking forward to um, the projects for 2019 because it's no holds barred and you can use any image you wanted to. Um, you know, going by a theme was, was perfectly fine and it challenged me to use stamps in a different way than maybe they were intended. Um, so, so I really enjoyed that and, uh, and I'm looking forward again to joining the others in 2019 for uh, the second house mouse collab in a row. Okay, so this is the April one that I insisted something was missing. And what's missing is the tail. I didn't draw the tail. This image was not originally a, him in his umbrella. He, this image is, and I'm looking if I have the stamp handy that I can just grab it to show you and I don't, but he's in a wreath and he's kind of like rolling down the street in a wreath with his hands and his feet outstretched to, you know, keep him in the wreath. And um, I drew in his little feet. I stamped the center image and I drew in his hands and I drew in his feet um, and I didn't get his tail. The image has his tail and every other image, they have tails and you can see them in every image except this one. I didn't draw the tail in. I didn't have enough guts to draw the tail in. The tail is very specific. Look, even this one, I cut it out a little bit, but there's the tail. There's the tail and etc. I'm not going to go through all of them. So yeah, he's missing his tail and you can say it's just behind him, but all the images always show a tail and um, yeah. So please subscribe to my channel so that you can see the 2019 collab um, uh, projects that I do. Click subscribe 
right below you. You can click the bell and you'll get notified whenever I post a channel, uh, post a video. Uh, and also, I'll uh, put in the description below in today's video and each video for 2019, the ladies or the YouTubers that are collaborating in this year-long house mouse image collab. Thanks for watching and Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to everybody. Bye!